Greetings fans, hyperfans and people just lost looking for videos of cats on YouTube. So, Paul at Sir Toys doesn't muck around, does he? Uh, he saw in my last video that I like Space Lego. And so when he sent me the most recent parcel, he sent me a lot of Space Lego. Again, I'm using the word Lego as opposed to building blocks because it's the market leader and we've all got to know this. But not a single thing here is officially produced by the Lego company of Denmark. In fact, we have here a couple of sets from a company wonderfully referred to as the 100 Transformation Demon King Company. G-Star, Lele, and oh, Enlightened Toys. Now since I've got something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine, 10 boxes of this stuff, um, this is going to be a pretty quick build video and if there's anything cool and interesting I find along the way, I will talk about it. So let's start with the two biggest sets, um, both from Enlightened Toys. This is a 36 piece kit 504, which seems to be some sort of rocket station. And inside we have instruction sheet and two poly bags. First one containing the base plate and a plastic hose. Let me just unroll the instructions. All the other pieces in here. In lights and toys give you all the bits separately, including the hands. So if you're comparing it to a Lego piece count and it's got a figure in it, automatically take off two. So let's put the figure together first. So we've got hands oh, hand stuck in there. Again, the Enlightened Toys, the plastic seems pretty good. The print on the figures is pretty good. Um, he's got a very traditional Lego face. Um, there's a bit of a moulding lip there, just on one side where the moulds haven't met up properly. A little hard hat on there, which... It goes on so tightly, it may never come off again. Okay, so let's follow the instructions. Now, these pieces are completely hollow as opposed to having the support peg that Lego put in their slopes of that size. But you have got... Uh, let's see, that's an unprinted piece. The print on that one's pretty good. Um, you've got a very 1980s Space Lego logo. Um, you've also got that on the guy's jacket. Oh, I can't read from that distance. It's English lettering, but pretty much just gobbledygook. The trapping's a little bit bad. That means the way the black's printed over the other colours. So you've got a bit of the green leaking there. 
Um, see, this slope at the back actually feels not quite so secure, so secure as that. So obviously their tolerances aren't as exacting as Legos. Well, that's kind of cool. Nice translucent blue piece. Again, the 325, which is obviously your rocket speed. But it's got trajectories marked on there. So, educational as well as fun to play with. I guess this is why the company's called Enlighten. Rocket's a little bit plain. Now that's part of the mechanism for shooting it. I kind of wish they'd done that in like a clear red. That would have looked really cool. But that fits in there. We put your rocket scientist at the controls. And whilst it doesn't say on the instructions, this is obviously a launch station, including a mechanism to fire a rocket off. So, since it's a Chinese set, let's do the countdown in Chinese. Ooh. So. San. A. Yi. Cool. I like that. You know, and you've got this suggestion there that, that how hard you flick it is how far it will go. Cool, I really like that. That's fun. It's a nice build, it's got some cool little components, especially these two. And it does something. Right, next big one. This is the... Did see if I'm on there somewhere. The Dragonfly Satellite, which is kit number 508. One big poly bag and an instruction book. It comes with two big clear panels. Little iridescent stickers that you're obviously supposed to put on there. I'm a little bit hesitant about putting stickers onto Lego, so fingers crossed that I can get away without it. Another sticker with the control panel, which is obviously for the inside of that piece. That's quite cool. So the helmet's got a really visible join line on it, but that's okay. Because he's got this more recent style gold chrome visor, and that's nice and tight. I was a bit worried having had a look at the helmet on one of their medieval ones but that wasn't going to fit particularly well but no that's very cool oh i'm supposed to have built his backpack up
Yeah, that's the aerial they give you. What's he supposed to be? Harry Potter in space? So that's an interesting piece I've not seen in Lego before. And again, this very cool geodesic chrome golden dome. Yeah, there should be another one for there, but that doesn't seem to have been included. And there's that other light. I'm gonna put that on there. get him holding on to the base of that aerial. Yeah, that's cool. Oh well, on to the next one. So we have here the 100 Transformation Demon King series, and they call this... Wow! This is apparently a Star Wars vehicle. Now, having seen all six films that many times, I can't remember seeing any little rocket sleds like that. But, let's have a look at what we get in this. So 31 individual pieces, the box says it contains 32, so they count the instructions, they count the legs, and the rest of the body all as separate components, so with this make you have to take 4 off, no, you have to take 6 off the total count. to make it comparable with Lego's numbers. The helmet that comes with this one has let's see a mouthpiece and a camera. The face print is very, very cartoony. Let's see if I can focus on that. So yeah, that's almost like a Duplo face. You've got the eye shine, huge eyes. Okay. The instructions on these are a little bit hit and miss, to be honest. Um, and it goes from that to that to that, and whilst if you look really closely, you can see where they're splitting the lines. Um, it's not a sort of massively clear.
Yeah, and that's, that, that's a nifty little space bike. Okay, so on to the next. Let's try a Lele one next. So this is the out and out copy of Lego stuff. The Galaxy Squad figures. So this was the big adventure line for last year. Um, the idea that everybody came with a robot and a hero and we're fighting an alien menace. So in the box you get one figure and a couple of extra blocks and a set of trading cards with power levels on them. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's loose as hell. Helmets tight as anything. So, you know, that balances out, I guess. So, actually, this guy I can do just a quick side-by-side -side comparison with the unlisted white team member that came in the Lego blind bags. So I was about to complain about the line down the middle of the helmet, but that's there on the original too. The visor is a little bit weirdly sized. But the rest of it, pretty much spot on as an equivalent. So, okay, that's kind of cool. Now, since I've started on the green figures, I may as well move to a G-Star's little Robobot. Little poly bag, little instruction sheet. gives you a list of what's supposed to be in there and yeah instructions are quite good on that one so let's cut that bag open Because those handlebars have got an angle, it means he's not going to fit onto a base plate. Um, let's see actually. If I angle those forwards and steal a base plate from the previous build. Let's see if Just about. But you kind of have to put it together on the base plate to get it to work. Now I know that there is a war game that you can play using robots made out of little. Lego mechs, and I'm wondering if this company have found that online. 
and I've just copied one of the designs. Because this whole thing about sort of putting the pieces on and angling them is not sort of your standard Lego feature. Yeah, I mean, the more I look at it, the more I think that's from that tabletop mech game. I'll find out what it's called, and I'll put the link in the description below. That's a very cool little robot. So, last green robot, back to Galaxy Squad. Another set of cards. See, I've already got that green squad galaxy guy. And now I've also got the blue one and the red mech. Ah, uh, it's the Lego Movie logo they've copied. I thought it looked familiar. Okay, I've got two little green robots. Actually, before I put him there, I'll pull out the white robot. Again, out of one of the blind bags. So that's not an identical copy of the chest plate. It does still have the bars at the back. Yeah, legs got some moulding issues. But if you're trying to come up with a collection of robots for your Lego kit, I think the set that the green robot and human came in cost maybe £35? Not a bad investment if you just want to make up your numbers of minifigures. I'll take him off. I'll take him off. Those to the back. Okay, so we have a nice little space fit, a nice little moon buggy, again from Enlighten. Old school 80s Lego. The classic oxygen pack, and that space agency badge printed on the front, and still the modern face. Now that, that is Harry Potter in space. The sleeker motorcycle design helmet, and then we got the silver, sorry, gold. Pfizer. Actually, none of this is as um, tight. Again, it's a problem of tolerances. It's going to be fine with the figure in holding some of that together. No. 
bits in this set seem to be all a little bit loose. Yeah, that, that's the kind of thing that I remember from my childhood. Just that tiny little, very chunky vehicle. He's cute. Okay, so I've got one last one from Enlighten, which is this little flyer. These satellite dishes and these weird pieces. These are what I remember from Space Lego when I was growing up. Now, the reason that these figures all come with the more motorbike type helmets is originally it was the same very thin plastic all the way round. Here it's much thicker. Um, and if you have a look at the Lego movie and have a look at Benny's space helmet, you'll see that it's cracked right down the middle because when you put any type of pressure on that piece, it used to bend. Um, and so many of my Lego figures ended up with that helmet bar just on one side or completely breaking off on both sides. So actually I'm quite happy that it's got the helmet. Now this, again, it's the silver. I'm going to grab those two for comparison, but also that one just shows the difference. These are a little bit more sort of Daft Punk. Every millimetre that the other one was too loose, this one's really tight. That's good. That control board is supposed to sit on there, but it seems to be the exact same piece. that should have gone into there. And to be honest, I think that makes a better addition to that kit than to this one. So, okay. Final two sets. I'm gonna absolutely rush through these because this video is getting very long. So there you have something with huge guns. Looks like something from... Not Macross. It's one of the other mech anime of about the same time. In fact, again, I'd be surprised if that didn't come from that desktop Lego mech game. Okay, he's kind of cool. Final box. I'm 
not so hot on my Star Trek spaceships, but that's definitely reminding me of one of the bad guy ships. I don't know if that's Klingon or Romulan. Again, not a lot of sort of super special parts in this, although those booster pieces are kind of interesting. I don't have any of those in my Lego box yet. Plastic feels a little bit cheaper than the Enlightened stuff. Um, it's got a bit of texture to it. But, you know, it, it's staying very well. Um, yeah, that's a decent looking space drone. So, if I clear that so there you all have the it. way. An assortment of very fun retro space Lego for a very awesome price. Um, link in the description below. And remember, if you're keeping them mint in box, you're not a toy collector, you're a box collector. Till next time.